You pray, and you pray, and you're still on the same wheel. All right. and, 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 and you look at God, and you're saying, God, I, I don't understand why you're keeping me in the same place. And God is saying, because you're still waiting for what happened for mama and daddy. You're afraid to step out on something new that I've produced. Instead, you're trying to find something new that man has produced. And the stuff that man produced will not last. Oh, it looks good. And it looks pretty. And it makes you feel wonderful because it, it, it must feel good. I don't know myself, but it must feel good to feel 100% religious. You know, it must feel good to, to, to just know that when I wake up out of the bed, that the chariot that swoops me up and carries me everywhere I go. I, I don't know what it feels like, but I know there are some who feel that way because they are, are highly motivated and highly blessed and highly favored of God, yet they got the same bills and the same problems and the same tribulations, but yet they seem to walk on water. Problem is, the water is only surface deep. It's one thing to believe in God. It's another thing to go way beyond. I got folks calling themselves prophets. This is a new thing. Because in order to be elevated above the preacher, I guess I need to be a prophet. And if I'm a prophet, that means that I speak a higher word because God has laid it upon my soul. And so you understand, and that goes back to this Isaiah text, we're doing a new thing. See, God is working some stuff out, and I'm the prophet, and I'm here to, to tell you some things about what God has told me. But let me tell you the criteria of a prophet. A prophet of God has to be 100% on point each and every time. Yeah. There ain't no errors, and there is no miscalculations. Yeah. If he said it, it's to come pass. Yeah. If it does not, y'all know what the Bible did? Yeah. They stoned them. Stone. There would be a lot of pulpits with stones in them. <laughs> For these prophets, see, you got to be careful of what you try to attach yourself to. Because yeah. everybody has this, this connection to God that's supposed to be higher than yours. Well. And, and, and God said that I have no respect of persons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 God said that, that, that I sent my son. Well, let's back up. Okay. Let's back up. Yeah. Before Jesus, yeah. there was an altar. There was a temple, yeah. and there were temple priests. Uh -huh. And the ordinary folks yeah. like us yeah. couldn't get to the throne room. All right. They had to stop by the priests, uh -huh. and there was priest and priest of priests. Yeah. So there were only certain priests that could take what you gave them just so far. Well. And then another priest would pick up and take it further. But when Christ came, yeah. well, I don't know they, got. They, they say that the tent well. was torn down. Yeah. 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 So that removed the barrier. Yeah. Now, I know well. that I'm a called child of God. I know I'm the past. Now, I know that my elevation may be a little higher as it relates to dealing with him and my assignment. But the same throne that I go to, yeah. you can go to as well. The same God that will give me a message will give the same message to you as well. See, if, if I'm a true prophet, I'm not going to work outside of the will of God. See, the only thing that I can speak into your life is what God has already put there. Only thing I can do is bring it to...